Hi everyone, first name Chris, last name Makeup here, and welcome back to the channel. So, my cat, my brother wants to act up today. So, um, I guess I'll just put my disclaimer early. My brother's playing some videos in the background, so it's whatever. And you can play it, I don't really mind. But, um, about to go, not go out, go out, because we still got our whole stay-at-home order. But we're gonna run some quick, uh, a couple of quick errands really some important to get some important shit out the way mainly mother's day stuff but um yeah so i'm gonna throw on some makeup today i'm gonna do a little more put a little more effort into it because i know y'all if anyone's on my video yesterday uh i attempted a new makeup makeup look but today i'm just gonna throw something on today and i'll also be playing with some new makeup it's a mixture of old and new stuff so all right so i'm gonna get started i got the NYX Hydro Touch Primer, and I had this one for a minute. So yeah, I like this primer. So, but then again, I recently I just got the new primer, which is their um a little daily moisture. Oh wow, I forgot this stuff feels like water. Um, I do love this though. I do love this. We have this new moisturizing primer. Um, it has sunscreen in it. For NYX and I'm from their Bear With Me line. And ooh, I had me my interest peaked. It arrived today. I'm excited to try it. This is going to probably going to be, um, it'll be in two of my videos. Like I have so many film ideas planned right now. I mean, I'm in the middle of exam week, but like, I part of me doesn't give a shit. But like, I have so many ideas, especially when I'm done with permanently done with exams. But I know I'm going to be nervous when my grades come out. So you know. And then, like, you know, one of my professors, he's proposing that, okay, the final's optional. And just know that if you don't take the final, the grading scale's going to change. And that kind of scares me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But he said you can always email him if um, you want to know what your grade would be like if you didn't take the final. So that's nice to know. All right, so I'm not going to put on foundation today. I'm hopping back into my Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil. Okay, so this actually low-key stood the test of time, but I think the setting spray helped with that. So, but I have a different setting spray today, so. But yeah, I have my Bear With Me Tinted Skin Veil in the shade Nutmeg Sienna. So, I really do like this, though. She's cute. She's nice. Um, I'm trying to find somewhere to put her, though, so I don't make a damn mess. I know I got some tissues. I could have sworn I did. Yep, right here. Put this little bad boy right here because the squeezy tube kind of like it's kind of like the it's low key like the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer kind of tends to squeeze out and squeeze a little bit too hard. But, anyways, I'm gonna put this on, use my ColourPop F15 again to blend this puppy out. And I will be concealing today. I'm kind of going doing some. I don't know, because this does spread out pretty good. But, um, okay, let me turn on the light because um, it's kind of if you out here. Oh my god. So, like, I don't know if this happens to people up north, but here down south, termite season just started. It literally started out of fucking nowhere. Because. Oh, well, right, my baby brother's cleaning up too, by the way. If you hear anything crashing. He's just trying to clean up because he wants to come with us. I told him if he's not done by the time I'm done with my makeup, he's not coming with us. So I'm going to try and take my time with this, but not too much time because I know my brother, he really wants to go to GameStop today to trade in his Xbox. Right, um, okay. But yeah, we're going to take care of the Mother's Day stuff first before we do that anyway. Um... Okay, so let me see if I can get some more. I really like this. I might get another. I might buy another bottle. Um, I mean, it's only if it runs out anyway. So, yeah. Sorry for hip. Sorry, headphone users. When I get near this little spot right here, you know, your girl is just trying to blend out her skin tint. That's all she's trying to do. To be honest, she's all. That's all she's trying to do. Just blend out her little skin tint. Okay, I'm trying to get this one spot right here. And I can't reach that. If I can't reach the spot, I'm probably going to take some concealer. 
Okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to switch headphones for a minute to try and get that one little spot. i make sure I'm not all covered and everything, too. Switching just for a brief moment. So, take a little bit of this. So, uh, okay. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, that's the whole thing with skin tints. I think this is supposed to be like a medium coverage. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a medium coverage. But, yeah, I think it's slightly buildable, but, you know, you never know. And I'm trying to be careful and really not do too much. Not build too much of the skin tint. I really do. But, I like, wearing this, like, all day yesterday, I ended up liking it, so... I wanted to use it again today. Because <laughs> why not? You really like a product. You find yourself using it quite often. Or at least a, at least a few times in a row. So I think I have my foundation on. Well, foundation, a skin tint. So yeah, I'm probably going to be... As far as um, concealing, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Hmm. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. So I guess I'm just going to leave it alone for now, I guess. Uh, I guess i got to learn to embrace my skin a little bit more. I mean, I do most of the time. But there are times where I'm just like, mm, you know. Uh, let's see. I know I got... Okay, I'm going to use this one. Yeah, because I haven't really picked all my brushes out. I only mainly picked out... My um my foundation brush, my bronzer brush, and my powder brush for the setting rest of my face. I'm trying to look for anything else like the setting the rest of my face. Got my concealer brush right here. I'm trying to think of a blush brush, a good one. I think I might use this one. I haven't used this one in a while. I use this one. So, highlighter already got that set up. So, under eye. All right, so I'll probably figure it out as I go. Okay, so concealer. Um, this is new. Um, this is the Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade number 15. Number 15. And honestly, I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm not really going to heavily conceal today. I'm just going to like put some in the center. There we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, the packaging this is a bit problematic. Yeah, she a bit problematic, but we can work with her, I think. We're going to see. We're going to see when I blend her out. And I'm going to take my Luxie 120 Detail Round Blender Brush to blend this out. Oh, shit, let me switch my earrings back. Earrings. <laughs> my headphones back. Because I got the spot. So, okay. So, let's see. I can take this. Yeah, it is a bit layer. Which is cool. Okay. I see why. I think Andrea Renee talked about this concealer and said how she didn't like the packaging of it. Which I kind of understand why she doesn't. So, jeez. Wait, was I talking? Oh, I was also talking about, like, termite season. Yeah, termites are... Whoo! They're terrifying, to be honest. Like, in swarms, anyway. But my boyfriend tells me that, oh, they're not really all that scary because their lifespan is, like, very short. Because apparently they last 30 minutes. Like, huh? <laughs> like, what? Um, I really hope that's not thunder. Anyways, um, to set my under eye, I'm going to be taking my OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Medium. I have not opened this. I have not tried this yet. So, I'm excited to use it. i can get the sticker off. Okay. I'm trying to get this bad boy off because I want to try it today. Oh, my nose is not... See, sometimes this happens when I want to do my makeup. My nose wants to be... My nose wants to play games. And it's going to be like, oh... That's a nice uh, makeup look you got there. It'd be a shame if something were to fuck it up. 
But, uh, yeah. But I don't know. I forget that termite season. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, my brother's talking about my, my mom's Mother's Day gift. But, uh, you should let me be careful opening this, because sometimes powder flies when you open a new thing of powder. So, yeah, this is what she looks like right here. And I'm about to, um, and this is really reflective, so, yeah, I didn't want to show that off. So, I'm going to try and get some powder. Let me see. Hold on a second. Let me do the old spanking method. Who's your daddy, bitch? Up oh, there we. Ooh, okay. Okay. Didn't mean to get that much out, but we're gonna use what we can. And I'm gonna use my real technique setting brush, this original one, originally designed one. I'm gonna see how this wears with this concealer. I'm not really trying to use too much from here. Let's try and approach with a light hand, or at least try to approach with a light hand with this. I don't know, but I don't. I'm trying to gently press the product into, I don't know, I think the thing I'm trying to do is like gently press the product instead of frantically patting it in. I'm going to gently press the product into my, my skin. I'm going to try to gently do that just to see how that would fare. I don't know this concealer or any other future concealers that I use. Okay, so we're good with that. I like, okay, so far so good. It's a nice gently, I to gently press the powder in to, oh my God. Okay, so I don't know if I talked about this in my last video, but so the whole thing, my mom, she made like a little um, joke about this. And, but then again, it kind of low-key turned serious. So, um... I was t telling her about how I was going to be decluttering my makeup because like some stuff that I don't want or don't need. And I asked her what she, if she wanted any, and she was like, well, first thing she said, she was into, um, to lip gloss. I'm like, Oh boy, I have a plethora of glosses for you to choose from, or at least I'll soon be able to give you a plethora of glosses to choose from. I think I took a big old dip in here, but okay. Okay. So it's going to do like a light little. Just press, just press and press and press into the skin, not to frantically pack because it's just going to, I feel like it doesn't do anything or that does little to, um, do what you need to do. Um, and pour the rest back. I know this is going to be a bit messy to work with. I know, I know it will be. So, let's see. But, so far so good. I'm liking this powder. Let's see how it fares throughout the day. Um, to rest set the rest of my face, I have my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep Deep Ebony. However, you want to roll with it. And I'm taking my um, Lexi 502 large powder brush. So, um, yeah, this isn't new. So, my OPV setting powder, however, is new. Um, so, I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with this. Oh, goddamn flies. Why? So I just, this, I swear, my baby brother needs to stop leaving the fucking door open. But, um, but, uh, okay, so, murder hornets. Yeah, that's a thing. So far, there's only one nest in Washington State. I don't know if I talked about this in my previous video, but I'm fucking terrified. Not just for myself, but for, like, my brother. He, um... So he has like an allergy to wasps, like bad, like a right villar one has put him in the hospital. It's a stink, but he got stung in the throat. So like, yeah, it does count for something. But, um, okay, let me try and swirl it too. But, um, yeah, kind of, um, scary. So like. I just hope that these motherfuckers never come down south, like, ever. Just, like, stay your ass in Washington State. Like, squash that one nest. Don't let not a single one escape to another state. Okay, let's see. I never know how much, how messy sometimes pressed powder can be when you swirl your brush in. So, um...
You done, Lance? Yeah, I'm done. All right. So I'm like, I'm like, I think a third of the way down my makeup. So, um, okay. So, eh, it is what it is. Setting spray's gonna fix it. Uh, the bronzer. I'm gonna use my best beauty bronzer again. So I purchased this recently. And to be honest, I think I'm gonna go down a shade and go get the shade Maldives. I am gonna keep this shade though. I am. I'm gonna keep this shade though because it it looks nice and it looked nice in the pictures that I took yesterday with my no makeup makeup look So I think this particular shade. I just have to use like a light hand because This or at least use like a little bit of padding motion Because this shit is like heavily pigmented At least when I tried it out Yeah, I'm seeing it right now. Like wow. I've never really had like a bronzer show up with this much pigment before so it's kind of it's not scaring me but it's like you know my first time you used to see my live reaction of this on the video it's like it's called like i attempt to no make a makeup look so um okay and it's i say this bronzer smells so good i'm telling y'all if y'all own this for anybody who owns a vesica beauty bronzer y'all know this stuff smells so freaking good Okay, I think I'm good on here. A little bit more. Might be shy, but small. But I'm trying not to put too much because I don't want to, you know. Okay, I don't want to overdo it, you know. Because I like, I love the bronze, but oh wow, okay, the way my under eyes look in this light is really gross. But I think it'll be fine once I um get everything together. Um, blush. Um, I'm just gonna have like an old one, a little bit goody, but I have my NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Creamy Powder Blush in the shade Risky Business. And I'm taking, oh, and a brush I use my bronzer, Luxie 520 Tapered Face, which is this one. Love this brush for bronzer. Um, okay, and the brush I'm taking is this e.l.f. powder brush. So it's a little white handle powder brush. I don't know if they still sell it on e.l.f.'s website. Or anything like that but if they do grab it it's it's a pretty good blush brush but yeah i'm actually gonna do a little bit more um and a little bit more blush today i'm actually gonna like stand out with that mm, should i do i dare do the little e-girl move and put some on my nose i'm gonna do a little bit <laughs> the e-girl look <laughs> okay just a little bit so yeah, I really like this blush from NYX. These are, I'm still really freaking happy that they came out with like powder blushes that I could use. Because yes, I love it. Anyways, what is that? Um, highlighter. I'm going to be using a new highlighter from Lunar Beauty. This is their Moon Prism Powder in the shade Mars. Well, it's not a new, new thing, but it's new to me. I have wanted to try things from Lunar Beauty before. And I'm going to take my JO2 brush to apply this highlight honestly this actually looks okay so you see how it looks pink on the brush right it looks pink but i know on my skin it's gonna look like straight white but oh probably because i'm like you know it's supposed to be for like light to tan skin this is what it's supposed to be for oh jesus yeah i forget this is like the little brush it's supposed to be make your highlight beam i think i forget which one this is but this is the brush that appealed to ooh okay this is the brush that appealed to me when um yeah, let me just do that okay but yeah this is a pretty co this is a really pretty color i don't think i really gave y'all a good look at it but um yeah so here's what the color looks like with mars it's really pretty oh god i can see the streak <sighs> jesus christ um <laughs> At least in here, I didn't think it'd be that freaking blinding. I did not think it would be that blinding. Uh, now it just looks like I have a whole ass streak on my face. Yikes. Um. Anyways, I'm just gonna move on. Eyes. Um. Oh, and before I go into that, I have my eye primer. It's a new eye primer to me. Um, and I think everyone knows about this low key, but this is the Milani eyeshadow primer in the shade Nude. So they only have one shade, so I don't know why they put number one nude like they're going to make more. I'd be surprised if they did, to be honest. 
I'm just gonna take like a little, try to put a little dot on there. There you go. I'm gonna put one little dot. Okay, let's just see what it do. Let me put this out my finger. Oh, wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it'd be like a, um, but then again, it's not like a putty type thing like my e.l.f. putty eye primer. But we're going to see what it do with this primer. Okay, I'm trying to like smooth it out. And I'm going to smooth it out so it doesn't really like fill my eyeshadows and become all patchy or whatever. Or clump up or nothing. So, so and it does, it does, it is a bit tacky, which is good. So we're going to work with that today. I take the tiniest little bit more for my right eye. Just a little bit more. Okay, yeah, it's showing up a little bit as a little pale on my eyes, which is all right. We got something. We're going. We're getting somewhere. All right. So eyes. I'm gonna be taking the Patricia Bright Makeup Revolution palette. This is in the shade Rich, the style Rich in Life because she has two of them: Rich in Life and Rich in Color. I got the Rich in Life, which is this colors in here actually look really pretty and I go for like a pink-ish look today as you can can't tell by my shirt and my earrings <laughs> and the highlight I was using but um let's see uh, okay brushes I'm just gonna wing it so I'm, I know what I know I'm gonna start off with my Sigma E40 and start out with the shade um shoe I think I might start out with Fuck it. I'm going to start with Workaholic, which is this shade right here. I'm going to put that all along my eye. Now this is going to look with this eyeshadow primer. I have no idea. So, so, so I'm see my reaction in real time about this. Yeah, YouTube video. Okay, so... Okay, so far nothing's showing up with this little transition transition shade. So that's why I'm about to go into my other one. So. Okay, so I'm gonna shut out. So so far nothing has showed up. I don't think it doesn't sh appear to be showing. It's not with this color. Or if it is, it's showing up very lightly. Yeah, I think I'm starting to see a little bit of it. Yeah, okay. Maybe because I didn't put it all over my lid, and that's why. I don't want my nose is it's probably this damn fluctuating weather. That's probably why this is happening. But um anyways. I'm sorry y'all. Uh to continue, I'm gonna be I'm, sorry, I'm trying to figure out what to work with. I think I'm going to use, like, one of my new brushes that I got um, from Perfusion Cosmetics. This is the ES3, which is the Pointed Crease Eyeshadow Brush. And I'm going to take the shade Brown Sugar, which is this shade right here. Try to deepen up this, attempt to deepen up this crease. So. Oh, I forgot I have a whole mirror for this. I'm so stupid. Um, okay, yeah, it's starting to show up with this color. So we're gonna try and work with brown sugar. Okay, so this is the pointed crease brush. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, yeah, it's starting to show up. Yeah, okay. This is a very interesting. Okay, yeah, it's kind of blending in with my skin I'm just it's interesting with brown sugar um okay I like this I like this so far okay um then I'm gonna take the shade um yeah, I know what shade I'm gonna take with the brush I guess I'll take my M507 my Morphe M507 and take the shade booked and busy which is this shade right here and kind of focus it a little more along here so I'm going to try and take a little focus of that. 
Okay, let's do it. So let's put them busy. focuses on here. So, so I should do something like this. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking this so far. This is good. She is cute. Alright. And now, I'm going to take my trusty my trusty <laughs> I trust the M514 Morphe and take the shade, um, let's see, take the shade Pure Soul, which is this one right here. I might take a little bit of it. I'm not going to try to take too much. Um, let's see what it do with that. Okay, let's see what I'm trying to I think just to deepen it up a little bit. So hopefully this does kind of register. Oh, it's okay. It is, it is. Yay. Okay. That's a kind of just patent blend, I think I'm doing in mind. Just patent blend, patent blend. That's what I'm trying to do. What's going on here? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. I forget I have to, um, in time to get a sweep away. The shadow. I blow away the shadow if it, like, piles up too much. So, yeah. Okay. Let me take a little bit of this. I'm going to sleep this away. I think my powder brush is. Alright. Do it here. Alright. So, I'm going to take my finger and take the shade Sweet Like Candy, which is this shade right here. No, this shade. Yeah. This shade right here. And put it on my lid. So, like that. See how it looked like on my eye. From here, it's a very buttery formula. And let's see. Okay, I don't really see much pigmentation with this with this eye primer at all. I don't see much pigmentation. Color payoff with this. Um, Oh wow, I love the formula of this, these shimmers. It's beautiful. It's stunning. Okay, I'm trying to. St oh, there we go. That's what I'm just doing to drag it down, not from the side. Um, okay. This is, this is very nice. This is a nice formula. Very nice. And oh, Color Pop Super Shock Shadows. Three shimmers. Okay, what I'm going to do, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take another finger and take the shade perfection which is this shade right here I'm kind of prime try and put it in the center oh shoot try and put this in the center here does it kind of possess it up a little bit okay see oh I'm going to put one this out a bit. Hmm, I think it's not stuck. Damn. Okay. 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 She's pretty cool. She's good. Um, take this one. Okay. Yeah, she's good. And, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Um, still pigment on here. All right. And then I'm going to take, uh, I guess I'll take my, um, Profusion Cosmetics ES4, which is the small firm eyeshadow brush, and take the shade, hmm. actually I might take the shade you were gold. Yeah, the shade right here and put it in my inner corner. I'm going to try that first. Let's see. And if I don't like that, I'll probably just put diamonds for breakfast on top. Okay. Um. 
Hmm, okay, yeah, she's pretty cool, but I think I might just put Diamonds for Breakfast on top of it just to see what it do. Oh, I hear Space Jam. What an iconic movie. Wonderful. Okay. Eyes finally done. Um, for mascara, I have... I know damn well I just had it. I didn't leave it over there. I didn't drop nothing, did I? Okay, so my brushes are right here. Oh, dear. Where did it go? I know I'm not blind. Not this time. But I know I, I, know I had it with me. Ow. Oh, wait. Oh, yep. It was hiding in the sheets. Okay. So, um, for, ma for mascara, I have the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. This is new. I'm going to go new mascaras. Never tried it. Can't wait to. So. Okay. This is cute. I like her so far. Okay. Let's just see. Let's... You know, I like how. And the thing is, I like how this clicks when it's closed. When you close it. Okay. This is. Okay. I like her. Um, eyeliner. I'm going to be taking, um, the Milani St Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Linked on Black. Sorry if I'm kind of out of it. I didn't get much sleep last night, but, and I freshly sharpened this. Let's see. So, hopefully this doesn't, like, fall apart or nothing when I put it on. And I'm going to just do a little bit of liner. Not too much today. What's the term? Oh crap. Of course that happens. So all I'm trying to do is just get as close to the damn lash line. That's all I'm trying to do. Oh, this is disaster strikes because my my right eye is complete shit. Oh, oh god. Oh no, 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 no. I can't freaking see. Cause like the closer I get, the worse it gets. And then she like, and this like, I don't know, kind of thick and chunky. I'm trying to be careful with this. Okay. Okay, I think that's not a total disaster. I don't think. Mm. Yeah, that looks good. She looks good. Okay, so brows. I'm just going to take a brow gel. And this is a new one I purchased. This is a uh, Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt Brow Gel. This is, well, mascara gel or gel mascara. It's just two different things. And this is in the shade Black Brown. So I'm going to be trying to. It's an interesting looking wand. I don't know if y'all can see it. Come on, focus. I don't know if I can see it, but it's like a little comb type thing right there. So I'm gonna try that. So, ooh, which end is it? Yeah, this one. I think it's this end. Oop. Okay, let me try and be careful not to like smother it in product. I'm not trying to do that. Okay. Yeah, this is an interesting wand. So. This is an interesting one to use for a brow gel. God, I want to get my brows done, but eh, I'm waiting till the stay-at-home order is lifted. I'm gonna be a good girl and do that. Be a law-abiding citizen. I like these fucking protesters. Okay, so brows done. 
And lips, I'm just going to take a gloss. I'm going to be taking my um, ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fresco. And I think this is sadly discontinued, unfortunately. This is a really beautiful color. Like a gorgeous color. It makes me sad because I know that if I, I think I searched one time for ultra, on the Ultra Glossy Lip specifically. And, um, they did not have this particular color available. Just sad. It makes me sad because this is, like I said, a gorgeous color. It doesn't really, like, show up, show up on my lips, but I love, I love how it looks and I like using it, so. I haven't used this in a hot minute, though. So. I love her. I love her. We love her. She is a wonderful gloss. Now, did I say it was from the Watermelon Collection? Because it is, and I love it. Anyways. Um. Okay, I was not doing the thing. Good. And to set this face, I'm going to be taking my Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist. This is, like, relatively new. I have really... I've seen mixed reviews about this. I think this has, like, three and a half stars. I'm playing kind of Russian roulette with this. Either people love it or hate it. And I hear some oily skin people love it. Some oily skin people hate it. So... I don't know. I have combo oily skin, so we're going to see how this fares. And so I think they said to shake it, but the way it's set up is like a little aerosol can. You can't really hear the shaking, but like, you know, anyways, we're going to try it. Jesus. Okay, so this is stronger. I think this is a bit stronger than the, um, yeah, this is a bit stronger than the regular one. Oh god. <laughs> and it smells honestly, if I'm being honest, it smells nicer too. It's stronger. It's a little stronger, but it smells a little nicer. So, um, oh. Got all up on my mirror. Hold on, let me fix that. Okay, let me just kind of clean that up. Okay, clean that up so I can see. I can see what I look like. See, because some people, I think some people have said there were even white dots appearing on there as I were, um, using this. So I'm going to see if there's any white dots on mine. No. Um, seem to be in the clear right here. All right, so final look. I don't think you can leave anything y'all can see the streak. <laughs> but, um, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Um... Y'all can like, subscribe, do whatever. Follow me on Instagram at Chris underscore makeup. Um, if y'all want to know where I got my um, my shirt or my freaking earrings, I'll probably say that in the description. But just know, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.